Dude, look at him go. Dude, I love his technique. Look at that. Yeah, you don't get dust in your eye. There you go. Why is your left hand so low? I don't understand. <laughs> this is like when Happy Gilmore plays golf yeah. with the hockey stick. Go in your hole! <laughs> We are back on site this morning, and I've been gone on the Appalachian Trail for a week with Chase, my man Chase, who's 14. So I'm back to work today. It's been a while. They're gonna get me clued in on what's going on today, which I think is flooring, more flooring. Decking is done, that looks really nice. And this deck feels super solid, by the way. Safeties are a must if we're uh, cutting with a circular saw here as shown right here. Oh, do I look like this too? Yeah, you look like that too. Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> oh, it looks ridiculous. Oh, look at you. Didn't even know it. Okay, we've got our three rows down all locked together. So now this thing can't curve because of the way these lock, it just is straight, but it may not be straight to the house at this point. So what we're looking for is like basically flush with the drywall, I guess. And so I'm just gonna move it out here. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Okay. Uh, Jono or Jason, yeah. just get it flush at that very end with the drywall, like straight down, and that's gonna be straight enough. I mean, we're splitting atoms here if we get it any closer. So yeah. let's just weight it down with a bunch of boxes so it can't move. And I think we're goalie. This stuff is super heavy. I think you guys got this under control for a little bit. And since uh, I already did the upstairs rooms, oh. <laughs> I think you can do the downstairs. Well, actually I have to get the cabinets because the base cabinets go in before the floor. Oh, that's right. So you're going to mm. get to a point in there where you have to stop because the cabinet's not in. So okay. Fair I'm enough. on stop prevention duty. Okay. Um, you know what's unfortunate though? I got. I think I got to go to separate stores. Oh, let me move my truck. Yeah. So yeah. you can get out. All right, yeah, me too. Where uh, are you going to Lowe's? Yeah, I'm going to Lowe's. Already been to Silva. Bought the ones they had. Got to go to maybe Franklin and maybe Wayne's. Oh, they ran out. Yeah. Mm. Uh, top, top stock, top shelf. You know what I'm saying? All right, take it to the man, see if it fits. Hey, dust it off before you go in there too. Oh yeah. Nice job, I think. So I was just looking and our flooring like assembly here has moved some, like probably a, at least a quarter inch from where it was because it's been beating these pieces in. And some of the ones I've done before, you don't have to beat them in. You just like snap them in. So we have unweighted everything and we're gonna try and slide it back out uh, to where it was and then weight it again. All right, ready? Yep. It moved uh, a little further. Uh, I'm not moving shit, but <laughs> I'm I'm pretty much where I want to be here. Yeah. All right, let's weigh her back down. Oh, dude, I feel like I'm playing hockey back in my hometown. You know, like when you're a kid, you played street hockey, and the car would come like car, and you'd move everything off the road, wait for them to leave, bring everything back, set it back up again, <laughs> car, move everything off, bring it back in. <laughs> Right here, we gotta go around this piece of the cabinetry and it's got a little stick out on this side and this side and the flooring's gonna have to horseshoe around it, which is not gonna work. <laughs> we're, well, we're just figuring all this out. So we're gonna take a scrap piece of flooring. We're gonna take out exactly that amount and hopefully we can just like peck this thing in around yeah. it. I know you just went camping for a week and you're probably ah. loving the bonfires, but can you please not burn that anymore? Good job there, Dr. Perkins. <laughs> As far as cutting this flooring, we did the jigsaw, which dulled the blade like instantly. I was shocked how, how quick it dulled the blade. We're doing the circular saw for some long rip cuts. And then the best thing we found and probably the recommended method is just to score and break this. 
So we're just doing like two quick knives across it with a speed square and then -cha! Jamie's back and he found some cabinets I'm stuck shopping here for these oh they're gray though um, they are gray <laughs> well see the thing is I was gonna have to drive another hundred miles to get at least to get white ones okay maybe even I like the gray and she said she would be happy with the gray and I like the gray actually the look of it's nice yeah how much were these um 200 bucks each with the top does yep. it come with a faucet too no, oh. it's a little misleading there. See, here's what you get. Okay. <laughs> Still 200 bucks, she did, cabinet, yeah. top. She got these exact faucets though, same brand. They were like 25 bucks. Wow. Pretty affordable. Yeah. Um, now we did pick these cabinets for a certain reason. I picked them and she was actually, she let me pick them, which was great <laughs> uh, because there's no backing on the cabinet. Oh. And so we have a clean out, we have the plumbing, and she was looking at ones that had drawers, and a lot of yeah. times that's a problem. If you didn't know, now you know. Yeah. Don't just go buy the pretty one with the drawers yeah. until you measure where your plumbing is, and then compare that to the cabinets. Yeah. We've modified a ton of drawers. By modified, I mean just completely hack them to pieces so that they'll go in and out. <laughs> and it takes forever. Yeah, or just delete the drawer and screw the drawer front on to where yeah. you can't pull it out. But I don't like doing that, it's a pain. So, all right, let's get them in here. We actually need them before I can finish. Okay, okay. Oh, you need me? Carry the other uh, well, side. Well, <laughs> let's have you. You see the sticker? Where's the... All right, you yeah. see that? Oh, let's see. I got you. Yeah. Right. Good. No, I did put them in here by myself. It's about 11, maybe? Yeah. And we're pretty much done except for this closet in here. Good. Yeah. So, we didn't know if we wanted to run it all the way tight to that corner. I mean, I don't know what else you're going to do down in there. Okay, we'll do that. So, just looking through here. Chase is cleaning go. up. This is what we got in here, looking done. So this is a super fast flooring compared to like laying a hardwood floor like we've been doing where you have to glue it and nail it and it's not as wide. Or tile. Or tile. We this probably is... would have barely got the layout done on the tile by now. How come I never see you sweeping a home like that? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm getting paid to do this. Oh, I kind of like feed you for free. Well, I'm showing Ma this footage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned the clean out is part of the stuff that's behind this cabinet and if you don't know what that is it's simply an access point to your drain system on your plumbing so if you unscrew that cap and run like a snake which would be something that would clean out plumbing that's clogged you can unclog the plumbing that goes down under the slab so that's what that is and it needs to be accessible which it is here in this case if you know where it is if you don't know where it is you'll never find it <laughs> ah! dude is that your hot wing mask or what that is super scary. It, I didn't like getting burned in the face. There you go. You see how you almost it helps. That was different. All that would have been in your face. Yeah, I wonder what that's like. <laughs> Ray just put in the last piece on this side, which is under the stairwell here. And that means we get to start over. Oh. Duplex. I thought you guys already had that. Nope. We're just sleeping. Here we go. We're starting on the second side, and our method of just weighting the floor down to keep it in place did not work as good as I'd wanted. So we are going to use these spacers. You get a quarter inch or a half inch option, and they do fit under the drywall here, tight to the framing. For whatever reason, that didn't work on the other side. So I guess my opinion is this is a good idea if it'll fit, and it does. So. These uh, so there we go. Start on this wall. A little pro tip for you. If you don't have one of these tapper blocks and you're doing this, I've found that a speed square will work kind of the same way. You get it hooked on there and uh, give it a little tap. Not saying that's great for the speed square, but it, it worked. And in a pinch, you can destroy your $180. Oh, that one is Oh, yours. that one is mine. <laughs> speed I thought square. it was mine. I was like, um, another pro tip, you should buy speed square. <laughs> another pro tip, yeah. <laughs> in other news, don't use your own. Yep. Okay. Tap it in, tap it in, and then that locks. 5,000 more times. We have partnered with Geology to bring you this video, and they're a 23-time award-winning personalized skincare company. 
And it just so happens that my job and the activities I like to do outside of work are particularly rough on my skin. I'm in the sun, I'm in the wind, I'm in the cold, and I really have to take care of my skin to keep it looking good and feeling good. And what's great is that Geology has made skincare so simple and easy for me. For my face, I use the Everyday Face Wash in the morning and then the Vital Morning Face Cream. And then at night, I use the Everyday Face Wash and the Nourishing Eye Cream before bed. And for the summer, I'm using the Morning Cream with SPF 30. You can also get it with SPF 15. Keeps you from getting sunburnt and you don't forget to put your sunscreen on. If you do it before you even go to work, it's great. Geology also has great body washes that are free of harsh ingredients, smell great, and are refillable. And of course, I'm going to have to cut to a shower scene to show you guys these. They're made with dermatologist tested clean ingredients that give you a refreshing shower experience, which I love. And they also have just the right amount of foamy lather and leaves my skin feeling soft, hydrated, and clean. Geology also has dermatologist tested aluminum free deodorant that smells great, no fuss, easy to use. Skincare should not feel like a gamble. That's why all of Geology's products are made with scientifically proven ingredients, trusted by dermatologists and cosmetic chemists. Don't take a gamble. Use my code PERKINS70 or scan the QR code on the screen and they'll give you an exclusive 70% off of their award-winning skincare trial set. On top of that, you can save 30% on the add-on products of your choice when you add it to your trial. This is one of the best offers you will see. Get it before it's gone. Thank you again to Geology for partnering with us on this video. Let's get back to work. think about my job bud uh it's fun but yeah. like hard work yeah that's a good description yeah i think so it is hot in here today it's like super muggy it's humid yeah and i'm not sure why you're wearing this to make it even hotter well you know i, I figured we'd be able to meet outside so like my neck <laughs> oh, wouldn't get something i got you but we're not outside so. i got you this pouring material is vinyl right okay you would think oh it's so easy to cut and it, it is when you have a sharp blade but look at this jigsaw blade right here can you see that that's only after just a few wow. cuts. Wow. Something in this material is, I don't know, it yeah. is wearing away the metal. That is insane. It's not just getting dull, it's removing metal. All right, so this one I put in, this one's like more aggressive. Okay. All right, and it's already getting dull. Yeah. And I don't want to waste another brand new blade here just after, I don't know, an hour of work time, right? So I can actually tilt the saw. All right, here's what I'm doing. So, you know, it's just a very narrow section of the blade that's worn out. But if I do this, see, I'm getting down to some sharp teeth. Right? Oh, see that? Wood. Yeah, that's a move. You know, I actually came out here and I started cutting a board a second ago. I was like, wow, this is really cutting easy because yeah. it was getting hard. Uh -huh. I didn't know you replaced the blade. I was well. like, what? I was like, <laughs> I was so confused. Yeah. Well, well uh, that is welcome. crazy. Though. I, I didn't even look at how damaged that was. I would have never thought that this I could wonder build what's a in it. So I, I mean, hey, I don't know. Hmm. Go tell them. Floors are done. Got Chase packing up the camera gear. It's actually a lot of camera gear. We got two lights, two tripods, GoPro, microphones, drone. It's a lot in it. He loved doing this. Yeah. Upstairs, the window's open. Huh? Ah. Yup. Look at this. <laughs> Baby's first shim pack. Where did you buy those? These, these are stocking stuffers. They're um, like half the length. Well, I was, when you get desperate, you, you buy desperate things. Um, they didn't have enough of the regular shims, but those were there. Okay, and so I'm you like, bought every shim that Ace Hardware had. Yeah, I did. We are back on site this morning. We're gonna hang some doors. And that sounded like we're almost done, really. It's gonna look done, I know that. And I can tell you, this this house has more doors than any other house we've done. Well, there's two houses. Almost twice as many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did math. Use spacers, they say. It'll be fun, they It'll say. be way better. So we did have a problem here. You can tell we're dealing with this. Uh, these spacers we use will not come out from between the framing and the flooring. Nope. So we're cutting them. They did work great as far as keeping the floor where we wanted it. 
and then look at it melts it so bad that it doesn't cut it anymore it makes it so hard that it won't even cut what if we smack it with a chisel i mean <laughs> you're welcome all of our doors are this pretty inexpensive six panel hollow core option they're lightweight they're inexpensive they're probably like I don't know, 100 bucks pre-hung like this or less. And that's a good option for this rental because it doesn't cost much. And they look great. We'll paint them up. That's just a prime surface. Let's get to hanging. Uh, let's see, 14 to center, 43 to center. You happy with it? Yeah, I'd hang a door on that. They got harmonizing oscillating saws over there. Yeah. Hey, on the other side of the door, what's up? And I'm gonna use the door itself as a gauge against the jam. And our top, we, we might wanna lift this side just to fuzz, so I'm gonna stick a shim just like 16th under the bottom ray. Okay. Start with here. Um, just to even out the gap on the top. That looks good now. So let's shim uh, near the top. Okay. Top looks good. If you just match my shim. It's big gappy. Yeah, we need like tons of shim. Yeah, go and go to there. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Just hold what you got. Okay. And we'll do the bottom the same. We're onto our second door here and we have a big gap here. I'm not sure what happened or why this is so much wider. So I'm gonna start with a bigger piece of shim. This is like five eighths and then we'll shim with our regular shims to that. So we don't have to use like 10 shims in one spot. All right, let me check that. Yeah, that's good up top. So let's move on down. Here we go, about 3.30 seconds is what we're going for, which is maybe the thickness of a nickel, or maybe a dime. All the way around, looks good. Going out of there. So on this door, even though we had tons of extra space in our rough opening, we just banged it pretty much tight to one side. And that's fine here because we're not like centered up or anything symmetrical with anything else. But in the case that you had a door that had just a little bit of wall surface on each side and you wanted it to match, you would want to shim equally on both sides of the door so that the door would look centered in like the section of wall. Again, it doesn't matter here, but it's something to consider if you're going to start hanging doors and banging them tight to one side like this. So it's the right side of the door. <laughs> we have done it. Yep. That'll work. Well, we finished hanging those doors so quickly that now we're having to get a coat of paint on them. And we've decided to just paint them in place since they're textured, they have like a wood grain texture on them. They're not smooth. This way we don't have to take them off the hinges, take them somewhere else, spray them, label them, take them back, re-screw them on the hinges and all that. Well, this was the last thing I expected to see when I walked in here. <laughs> yeah, it's the last thing I thought I'd see too. Evidently we're using some kind of new paint by Sherwin Williams that is door and trim paint specifically. Yeah, and does it say interior and exterior? Yeah, so what's different? I don't know. I looked at the uh, paint there at the store and the guy was like, you should uh, get this. And mm. and I was like, well, I never seen that. Why have I never seen that before? He said, oh, it's new. Factory-like finish, ultra smooth, no brush marks. Wow, 
Um, I hope we don't let anybody down with our <laughs> I don't know, but I, I mean, so far, so good. I'm yeah. pretty happy with it. I went back and looked at the first one I did. It was it all right up. And nicer than usual? It, it did look really good. Okay. So hey. That might be the new thing. Whatever. That's pretty... Whatever no brush is. marks. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that's why you said no brush marks? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, I have to read the uh, footnotes. I think it says when sprayer is used. Oh, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Well, <laughs> anyways, there, we have no affiliation with this uh, paint brand or whatever, but it is notable that we're trying to buy the best product that we can to get a good finish yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy is the key. Mm -hmm. I said, um, actually, let me tell you what I told the guy. I said, hey, hey, I need some uh, paint for like uh, trim. I said, give me something that makes me look good. Right. Okay. That's what I need. Was I need it expensive? Help. No. Huh. No. What? <laughs> no. It's not making any sense. What? I think this is as believable as uh, one coat. Oh yeah. Paint. Yeah. One. We'll let you know. We'll let you know what happens. He did say there's nothing that's gonna make me look good though. So. Hmm. What is the most important thing about this first coat of paint? Um, I would say that it doesn't need to look great. Check. Um, it doesn't want to be real thick. Check. And Jamie's biggest thing I'm going to say is that he doesn't like to see any drips. Check. Am I Dri right? Drips are hard to fix. If it's thin, we can always add more later. Don't, mm. No drips. Jamie will freaking lose it. Yeah, so I usually <laughs> just put a big glob here and let yeah. it run. <laughs> You know I did that one day. <laughs> we were doing Nana Halo. Oh, Rain out of paint and trim <laughs> up against the window. And I had a big glob, but it was running perfect right down the window, dude. It couldn't have been straighter. I'm like, you couldn't cut better than that. It's the best well, way to do it. Mm. That's so grabbing. I almost dropped my JB on the paint. This has been a great day. I, I'm not sure we made any good video today because we're just like hanging doors and painting doors mm -hmm. like crazy, but we've gotten a lot done. And I'm super proud that we didn't just go home. Like I thought, oh man, if we get these doors hung, we should just go home. That's what I was thinking. Well, me and Jason, we were all about going home. But oh, but we stayed. Here we are. Here we are. Great. Come on. We did it, Ray. We did it. I can't believe it. Oh, so one coat on all the hey. doors. Is the back of that door this time we're out of here. The no, back side of that one door is not done, Ray. It's not. You got any paint? I don't have any. <laughs>